everybody, my name is Shira Madera and I am here in Denver, Colorado inside Front Range CrossFit. Today we're going to meet Becky Consulman, one of their top athletes. How about if we go check her out? Becky Consulman, one of the top athletes in Front Range CrossFit. Here she is, Becky, nice to meet you. Thanks. Let's talk about how fitness started for you. I understand you were a swimmer, a soccer player, a cyclist. Tell me a little bit more. Well, you're right, but it actually started on the farm in Salina, Ohio. My grand, my dad grew up on a farm. Every July 4th, we'd head back to Salina, Ohio for the classic annual bean bake. So our whole family would swarm into one small farmhouse and the guys would sit around the table and play poker all day. And I found myself, even as a four-year-old, gravitating towards my dad's lap and learning the art of playing poker and bluffing my butt off and winning a lot of money because, you know, why would a four to five-year-old lie when they're playing poker? <laughs> so that is, that, that's kind of when I realized, you know, I was definitely born with a competitive gene and that carried over into soccer. I played soccer my whole life. Um, also competed in competitive diving and swimming and then in high school I competed in track and basketball and soccer. So how did your love for CrossFit start? Basically I stopped competing cycling in 2005 and then I went on to have two children so it was, by the time passed it was 2009 I hadn't done much other than yoga and I said you know now is the time to really get this part of my life back whether it's just being in shape or even competing again so I went to a Gold's Gym and I met with a trainer and she had been a competitive kettlebell girl and she put me through a kettlebell workout and prior to that I said, can you give me a goal? Can you give me something to shoot for? Because I'm very goal oriented. And so I did the workout, I did well. And she said, have you ever done CrossFit? I think you would really enjoy CrossFit. So there was another trainer at the gym who happened to go to Outlaw CrossFit uh, and the owner is Rudy Nielsen. And she invited me and after two weeks, I just threw my hands up and said, I'm hooked. So what does a typical day look like in the life of Becky? There's really not a typical day in the life of Becky Konzelman. I do strive for more order, I wish there were. But for the most part, there's an off season and then there's a go season. And the off season, I train about eight to 10 hours a day. I made a commitment after the games that I wouldn't train any nights and be away from my family. But come January is a time when I really have to start to kick it in and train hard. So that's more like 12 to 14 hours a week of training. I'm spending maybe one to two nights out a week adding in that training. Uh, I'm doing four lifting sessions a week, as well as about five to seven Metcons, which includes one longer endurance component Metcon. And as far as nutrition, you know, I have, I was born with a crazy high metabolism, and so I, I would say I look for macronutrients and nutrient-dense foods, superfoods I eat with a lot of fun. So spinach, sweet potatoes, Lots of protein in addition with pizza and ice cream with my kids. So life is good. For all of those that don't know, you are a mom, a wife, a businesswoman. How do you balance, and oh, and a very dedicated athlete. How do you balance all this? Balance is the hardest thing. If the cleanliness of my house was any indicator, if I'm balancing my life well, I would fail miserably. So I think just taking a daily check on uh, the pace of our life, how are my kids doing, that's always the focus. And if things get too frantic, then I definitely will take an extra day off. But it is a challenge, you know, with the children and with training and with a couple part-time jobs. It's not easy, but with faith as the foundation of my life, I can really rely on the Lord to center me and give me peace throughout kind of a crazy storm. When I was doing my research, trying to find more about Becky Councilman, I found out that you're a woman of faith. What role does faith play in your life? It says in the Bible that G Jesus says, I came that they might have life and have it in abundance. And as a young girl growing up, my parents took me to church, but I didn't really learn the importance of what it means to have a relationship with Christ and until I went to a sports camp in seventh grade. And it was then and there that I saw these counselors and they had this peace and this joy in their life. And when asked what it was, they said, we have accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And so it was from that point on when I really took ownership of my faith and I began to apply that in, into my life. And as an athlete, what it does is it provides a foundation for who I am as a person. So as a Christian, uh, as a child of God, so to speak, my needs are met 
uh, by my Heavenly Father. And so my goal is to, then I can be freed up to use the talents that he's given me for his glory. So my ultimate goal, he knows the desires of my heart, is to make, is to make it to the CrossFit Games. So I'm gonna train with my whole heart and soul, mind and strength for regionals. But at the end of the day, if I don't make it, and I know that I've given everything I have, I can have no regrets. And I can say, Lord, you have a better plan for me. I gave it everything I have, and I can kind of brush my hands clean of that performance and move on to the next thing. There are people out there that see you and say, I want to be like Becky. I want to train like Becky. I want to do everything like Becky. What advice do you have for them as individuals, parents, or kids? If I were to counsel my kids on giving them advice for their life, I'm going to encourage them to search and find that foundation first. I think in CrossFit, it's meeting the needs of community. It's meeting the needs of physical fitness, but it's not meeting the need of that God-shaped void in our hearts that we all need. So obviously, that would be my first encouragement to anyone is to search the why in their life. And then I would say, once we have that why and you've established that foundation, then I think we can move on to the things that actually will bring joy into your life. And that's community through CrossFit. That's physical fitness, getting yourself in shape, taking care of the body that God's given you. And then the other thing I like to live by is the no regrets philosophy. So at the end of the day, have you, have you done your best? Have you done what you've been called to do? And you can go, I have no regrets. All right, let's do this. Well, everybody, as you can see, Becky is a well-rounded athlete. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, ciao.